friends i'm pretty sure you guys must have done very well in today's exam so let's discuss few of the recalled uh, general surgery questions like in the session one video uh, that we have caught from uh, various students over the messages so the questions were very straightforward and simple directly asked from your standard textbook so in this video we shall be discussing around 10 to 14 questions so let's begin our discussion so you had your first question like a simple straightforward question where they had asked you regarding the role of d in abcd of trauma so what does d stand for so the answer over here was disability assessment so this is a concept that has been discussed multiple times in your regular classes and in your revision classes also and we had put forward this question in one of our fmg revision series also where it was given as an option d for disability assessment so the basic primary survey rule is to identify and manage the most life-threatening injuries where a is for the every with cervical spine control b is for breathing c is for circulation d for disability assessment and e for exposure then we had the next question where they asked regarding the causative agent of gas gangrene this was also a straightforward question right where the answer being the clostridium perfringens right as you can see this has been taken again from your bailey and love textbook where they have said clostridium perfringens is the cause of gas gangrene right then this is a repeated question that was asked so what we could gather from the students it was the image of the esophagus showing the presence of a coin and there is no brain over here the answer would have been esophagoscopy right then again a repeat question that was asked regarding the conduit used in cabg right so now there's a confusion whether it was an arterial or a venous graft so if you can see over here the selection of conduit uh, in case of venous graft it is the long saphenous vein which is the most commonly used venous conduit whereas in case of arterial grafts it is the left internal mammary artery or the internal thoracic artery which was used so depending upon the question what it was if it was an arterial then the answer would have been lima if it was venous then the answer would have been the long saphenous vein right now moving on to the next question uh, which of the following is not a component of q so far this is a straightforward question so the question is asking you not and the answer would be pulse rate more than 90 this is not a component of a q so far score the component of q so far score includes respiratory rate more than 22 per minute right systolic blood pressure less than 100 mm of hg and altered mental status so the answer would have been the pulse rate or whatever the options we have got varied options but the uh, main important thing is q so far comprises of the respiratory rate systolic blood pressure and altered mental status right then there was another score which was asked to you which was regarding the ctp score which is your child tuckot book score so they had asked you which of the following is again not a component so the key over here is to read the question very carefully not to miss on this keywords which include not right so we have bilirubin as a component INR as a component ascites as a component right so the answer would be your hemoglobin or whatever would have been there in the option so what are the components of ctp score so your ctp score consists of bilirubin albumin ascites encephalopathy and ina so we got varied options for as the fourth option some said as hemoglobin and some had put some other option but then just remember the ctp score including of bilirubin albumin ascites encephalopathy and your i know right so if you uh, look at the scoring it is provided a score of one point two point or three point each where your ctp a is around five or six points b is seven to nine points and c is ten to fifteen points right now the uh, next question was your image based question from the breast where they uh, where your students have told us that an image of around pud orange was given 
and they had asked the definition of it basically what is the cause of it so yes it is due to the invasion of the subdermal lymphatics which is the cause of pd orange so if you see this line might again have been taken from the barian love so this pd orange is a sign of locally advanced disease due to obstruction of cutaneous lymphatic drainage of the breast by the infiltration of either subdermal lymphatics or axillary lymph node by tumor cells right so it was an image of pd orange where they were mainly asking regarding the involvement of your subdermal lymphatics and then another question as we had already discussed a lot many times that anal disorders one or two question is mandatory so then ask regarding the gold standard investigation for fistula in ano so i hope there is no confusion regarding it this is again a line which is directly taken from your bd and love which says mri is the gold standard for fistula imaging right so here your answer would have been mri fistula graph right now this question has been discussed multiple times right the important charge so it was a basically a clinical based scenario and they were asking from which stage of shock is the urine output likely to be decreased right so this table uh, taken from the ATLS 10 guideline clearly says over here if you look regarding the urine output in class 1 it remains normal so in 2 whereas in class 3 it starts decreasing right so what they wanted to ask is from which stage right from which class does urine output begin to decrease right so here the answer would have been your grade 3 and now next is a very straightforward question asking you regarding the diagnosis so um, as uh, the information got from the students it was an image based question so if you can see over here right the biconvex hemorrhage so it is a case of ADH so we had again discussed this in our classes so this would be a biconvex ADH right where it uh, the injury happens to your middle meningeal artery and if you see over here this is your sub dh which is this concave convex right now uh, there were a lot of questions from the urology uh, section to this time and they were pretty straightforward questions like the lymph node involvement in testicular carcinoma so it is para aortic it is absolutely taken from the image in the bailey and love where they say that lymphatic drainage of testes to para aortic lymph nodes then there was another question regarding your lymph node involvement and it was asked for the prostate carcinoma right so here the answer would be internal iliac lymph node now if you read this lines from the bailey and love in prostate ca the lymphatic spread may occur via lymphatic vessels passing to the obturative fossa or along the sides of rectum to the lymph nodes beside the internal iliac vein in the hollow of the sacrum right so this was a straightforward question which was again asked from your standard textbook of Bailey and Love right now we have another question which was asked uh, in a very twisted way this was a, this is a quite often repeated question in your FMG exam which is regarding the construction of the ESO figures and now they were asking regarding at 25 centimeter from incisors which is the cause of constriction right so if you look at the uh, diagram from Bailey and Love at 15 centimeter you have your cricopharyngeal sphincter at 25 centimeter you have your aorta and bronchial constriction and at 40 centimeter you have your diaphragmatic and sphincter constriction so at 25 centimeter it would have been your aorta some people uh, some students have told it to be a bronchial so it would be in either a aorta or a bronchial constriction now hmm. Another question that was asked from your venous disorder was regarding the gold standard treatment of the varicose vein, right? So if you look at this line over here, the endothermal ablation technologies have replaced the surgical ligation and stripping as the gold standard treatment, right? 
once the randomness trials demonstrated they were marginally safer and have extremely high technical efficacy offering superior quality of life post procedure and equivalent improvement in quality of life in the longest term right so the options that we have got are like surgery compression and endothermal ablation so the answer would have be endothermal ablation right so this are few of the questions uh, 14 of the questions that we have got so far from you all so i'm pretty sure there would be a few more questions that uh, must have come in your exams so we'll be coming up with our session two of this very soon until then you can absolutely post your questions that you come across either in the game gamers club which is in the facebook or you can follow our, our telegram channel and post it over there right so i hope the session was useful and uh, all the best for your results and i'm pretty sure that you all would be passing with with flying colors right so this is me signing off from the team game surgery right and uh, please share other questions that we might have missed in this uh we might have missed in today's session right thank you